Hello, Primary 3. Really nice to see you. We are going to keep our music lessons going. We're going to keep our learning going. So every now and then, I'm going to post a little video onto the Glenburn YouTube uh, channel so that you can go on and see a music lesson that you can join in with. I would really like to do some rhythm ex lessons with you because we were going to be doing reading rhythm, playing rhythm, having lots of fun with rhythm. And you could do this at home with your family. There's actually lots of ways. We're going to include lots of members of the family. So the first thing I'm going to do is remind you of things you already know. You already know the meaning of the word tempo. How fast or slow we're going to go. That is the tempo. So it's the pace of the music. It's the pace that we are traveling at. We want to learn these music words. They're part of what we need when we're discussing music. So it's important that we use the right vocabulary. So when we're talking about whether a piece of music is going to go fast or whether it's going to go slow, the word we'll always use is tempo, the pace of the music. So we're going to go, uh, we're going to do a steady beat with our feet. So we're going to keep a steady beat with our feet. I'm going to give you the tempo. You can do this at home. Come on, stand up. Get, get, get out of that couch. Change out your jammies. Put on something comfy and stand facing me, okay? So I'm going to give you the tempo. We're going to do uh, one, two, three, four, one, two. And we're going to do the steady beat. And remember, another word for steady beat is pulse. Just like you've got a pulse and that steady beat comes from your heart the pulse is the heart of the music this is the heartbeat of all music and we need a pulse doesn't matter if it's a slow pulse or a fast pulse just like when you're resting your pulse is slow and when you've been doing lots of running around and lots of exercise your pulse is fast so here's the tempo of our pulse the tempo of the pulse can change the speed at which our beat is traveling can change from fast to slow. So here we go. This is my tempo. This is walking pace and it's got a special music word. And the special music word for walking pace is andante. Can you see that? Andante. So this is our tempo of andante. And we're going to keep a steady beat. Pulse is a steady beat feel it moving in your feet always steady keep in time tap your feet and say this rhyme pulse is a steady beat feel it moving in your feet always steady keep in time bend your knees and say this rhyme pulse is a steady beat feel it moving in your feet always steady keep in time flap your wings and say this rhyme pulse is a steady beat feel it moving in your feet always steady keep in time nod your head and say this rhyme pulse is a steady beat feel it moving in your feet always steady keep in time freeze you've learned this run quick recap we've got tempo the pace of the music we've got the pulse the steady beat we actually know a special word for the pace that we traveled at andante did you say it before me? I hope you did. So we've got andante, tempo, pulse, beat. Fantastic. All these words. Now we're going to do rhythm. The pulse is your heartbeat. Doesn't change. There's no bits in between it. The rhythm, can you remember the word for what rhythm is? Begins with a p. It's a pattern of sound. Rhythm is a pattern. And it follows the pattern of words. So if we were going to do a rhythm pattern, I think you know this one. Do you know it? It's bubblegum. Bubblegum. I am creating 
the sound pattern of the words I'm thinking in my head. And the words I'm thinking in my head say bubble gum. Lee, lee, clap. So every time I think bubble gum, I'm going to say bubble gum. Bubble gum. Scrape your toe. So when it's just the one beat notes, scrape your toe. Ta, ta, ta. Then I'm tapping my shoulders and my head. So if I was going to do the whole thing, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do a line, you do it back to me. Bubble gum, bubble gum. Scrape. I said the wrong words. Chew and blow. I'll say it right. I was actually thinking, I need to give you the tempo. That's what I was thinking before I did it. So if we're doing nice and steady, a really steady tempo. One, two, three, four. Bubble gum, bubble gum. Chew and blow. Your turn. My turn. Bubble gum, bubble gum. Scrape. Your toe, your turn. My turn. Bubble gum, bubble gum. Tastes so sweet. Your turn. Watch out this one. Scrape that bubble gum off your feet. So you've got to watch out for the fourth line because the bubble gum pattern. Ta 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 ta. That ta 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 bubblegum pattern moves to another place in the line. Line one starts with bubblegum. Bubblegum, chew and blow. Line two starts with it. Bubblegum, bubblegum, scrape your toe. Line three starts with it. Bubblegum, bubblegum, tastes so sweet. Line four, scrape that bubblegum. So this time we're going to do it again. I'm going to say it out loud. And we're all going to do it together. Here's your tempo. One, two, three, four. Bubble gum, bubble gum. Chew and blow. Bubble gum, bubble gum. Scrape your toe. Bubble gum, bubble gum. Tastes so sweet. Scrape that bubble gum off your feet. Now here's the clever bit. If you think it inside your head, but don't speak it out, all we're going to hear is the rhythm. We're just going to hear the pattern. Let's try that. So thinking the words in your head this time. One, two, three, four. Did you manage it? Excellent, excellent. You can, we would do it in school with cleaves. Cleaves are at school, I've got wooden spoons, you've probably got wooden spoons. You can tap the rhythm pattern. a cup of sea salt and I can use it just like the shakers. Bubble gum, bubble gum, chew and blow. Bubble gum, bubble gum, sweet your toe. Bubble gum, bubble gum, taste so sweet. Take that bubble gum off your feet. So I can keep the pulse with my shaker and I can do the rhythm with my spoons. I'm going to come back and show you how we can use lots more things that we've all got lying around the house to create a family samba band. It's your turn now to teach everybody in your house the difference between a steady beat and a rhythm pattern and tell them what tempo to go at. Stay safe, stay well, see you soon, bye.